morning, good afternoon. Welcome to all of our attendees across the world. Um, my name is Amy Carr. I'm the Director of Recruitment here at Worldwide Health Staff Solutions. And I am joined today by Joel Moore, who is the Chief Nursing Officer at Genesis Health System, the Davenport location. Um, he's one of my favorite folks to host a webinar with. Um, and we are here today to talk about Genesis Health System and what a great place it is. Joel, let me turn it over to you to go through the presentation to, to introduce Genesis to all the folks that are on our call. Sounds good. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Joel Moore. And as Amy said, I'm the Chief Nursing Officer here at Genesis. I am grateful that you joined us today. I know many of you have not applied for a position yet. And so uh, I'm here to answer and convince you that this is an opportunity uh, that you'll wanna uh, try. Um, Genesis is an amazing facility. Uh, just a little bit about me, and we have just maybe five or six slides, and I won't go through all the details because you'll have of every slide because you'll have all those uh, attached to uh, the video link here. Um, but I wanna share with you that I grew up here in the Quad Cities, and I'll share what that means in a little bit. Um, I actually was born here in this hospital and have been practicing nursing for 23 years. Um, I'm very passionate about nursing and moving us forward uh, through cutting edge, um, innovative evidence-based practices, as well as ensuring that we have a safe place to practice nursing and provide the highest quality of care. Um, and just like our mission says here that we provide compassionate care to our patients who depend on us as well. So um, just a little bit about me. And as you see, there's a chat and CJ will help us with those. We are more than uh, willing and we welcome your questions along the way as well. So let me uh, go through some slides here and introduce you to Genesis. Um, our facility here at Davenport, we have two, two uh, buildings. One is where all of our acute care services occur. So you would all be applying for uh, medical, surgical, or cardiac, or other specialty positions, and you would be all right here on what we call our East Campus, uh, where I'm where I'm at most of the time. And uh, this slide shows you we're a very busy facility, a uh, very uh, busy healthcare system. We have five. Uh, five branches to our Genesis Health System, and two of those are right here in Davenport. But as you can see, just to point out, we deliver over 2,400 babies. Uh, we average uh, six to 10 births every day right here on this campus, as well as uh, our average right now for our emergency room is about 170 visits, uh, emergency room visits here at Davenport. So we're honored and we think of it as our mission to take care of our community um, in a non nonprofit setting. So um, you will be part of something uh, unique and special um, in our Quad City area. This slide shows, and uh, I'm proud of a couple things. We have been named um, a, a three-time top-ranked uh, facility by the in Iowa by US News and World Report. Um, and in order to achieve most of these awards, you have to be in the very top percentages uh, for quality care. Um, we strive and follow evidence-based practice here um, at Genesis. So we don't make any decisions on our own. Or uh, what I like to say is we don't go to the idea store when we're changing practice. We look at other evidence-based um, ideas or evidence-based interventions that are out there for us to influence the outcomes of our patients. So because of that, we've been awarded and named uh, several uh, top award winners um, across the Iowa as well as the nation. Just a little bit about uh, the Quad Cities. Um, if this map were um, drawn out so you could see the whole United States, um, the Quad Cities is almost smack dab in the middle of the United States. Uh, we have an airport right here in um, Moline, Illinois, which is about 10 minutes from my office. Um, but we're on this, uh, if you look at this map, Interstate 80 
um, is one of the roads that goes to the interstate that goes from the west coast of the United States uh, all the way to the east coast. And so we're on that central hub. It's really easy to get to anywhere. As this map shows, we are just a couple hours from Chicago. If I were to get in the car, it would take me about an hour and a half or two and a half hours to drive to Chicago and fly out of there international um, or anywhere across the world. But usually I fly out of Moline right here uh, in the Quad Cities um, to get to Chicago or other places. I know that we all are really well versed in Googling or using your favorite browser to see uh, what would, what's Davenport, Iowa, or what does that mean? Um, I am here to tell you there's much more to where the Quad Cities um, is than just Davenport, Iowa. Um, just like where uh, you're at, I see you're com you know, from all over, from Pakistan and Texas and all, all over the world. Um, one tiny little city doesn't define our metropolitan area. So we've listed in on this slide. So I want you to uh, look at Bettendorf and Moline and Rock Island as a part of our Quad Cities. Um, the hospital that we're in, uh, there's that bridge that's in the middle of this uh, slide. We're kind of up the hill, way up in the far right hand corner. Um, we live in a pretty large metropolitan area of over 450,000 people. And we are the third largest employer um, in our area. This picture actually shows uh, right in the middle of the river there, that's the Mississippi River. Um, there is a uh, United States Army uh, Armory right there. Um, so we are one of just a handful of arsenals, we call them uh, right here in the Quad Cities. So they're our largest employer. And the second largest employer is John Deere. So as you can imagine, right here in the Midwest, we, uh, I'm not a farmer. I did not grow up on a farm, but out in the rural parts of our area, uh, there is a lot of farming and we are the largest manufacturing um, area for John Deere tractors. So John Deere is the second largest um, employer. And I tell you those two things because it's important for you to know, um, if you have your registered nursing, nursing license and you come over with your family or bring your friends over with you, um, there are lots of job opportunities in a variety of settings, whether it's school or manufacturing or with the government um, right here. So um, we found with our current international nurses that have come, um, some of them have, have joined our workforce, but we've also got them integrated into our community through some of these other um, uh, employers that I've mentioned. It's a great place to find a job. We are a very diverse community. Um, as you uh, integrate into our area, um, we will help you make sure that you are connected. Um, I, I just a few weekends ago, um, we currently have uh, about 30 international nurses out of our uh, workforce of 900 nurses here at Davenport. And uh, we all went bowling together. It was a super fun afternoon. Uh, maybe more fun for me because not many of them had ever gone bowling before. So they and their families, um, we spent uh, all afternoon together just laughing. Um, but I shared this slide just to let you know that we have um, a very large Hispanic Latino uh, community as well as African American and Asian community here um, integrated into our community. So um, we are very diverse and are working very hard um, to support um, all, all people that come into our region. Now, I know that you have a lot of opportunity and I am so passionate about nursing. I will just tell you, I want you to take the opportunity that makes the most sense for you and your family. And um, I'm just excited for you to bring your gifts and your passion and expertise and skill um, to the United States. Um, it is uh, an opportunity that I want you to take a part of. Um, but I want you to just, uh, we put this slide up here just to show you a little bit about the differences in pay. Because I want, it's very easy to um, get wooed by pay 
um, of a differential of a few dollars an hour, five or seven dollars may seem like a lot. Um, we put these two examples up here. Now, San Francisco is on the West Coast. Um, anything that's on a West or East Coast is a much higher cost of living. But this example shows you possibly what um, a meal might cost, or uh, more importantly, if you look at the, the cost of living, um, to pay for an apartment in San Francisco is almost $3,000 a month for a one bedroom versus right here in the Quad Cities or Davenport area is uh, runs about $1,000. So I just want you to take those things into consideration as you um, think about where the best fit for you and your family is um, and think really think through the cost of living and expenses. Um, CJ is gonna put up um, and we'll attach this to our um, presentation today. I think he's gonna put up a, um, a, a handout or something we call that We'll show you a little bit of an example. Um, let's see if that shows up. We love technology when it works, but when it doesn't, it's okay. We'll we'll go with the flow. I'll just talk. I'll talk you through a little bit because one of the one of the questions that we um, it's been shared. Thanks, CJ. Um, one of the questions we often get is, what incentives or other opportunities do you have? Uh, when you're here at Genesis. This handout here shows, um, this is these differentials are here to stay. So these are not changing. Um, currently, right now, with the state of the state of our workforce, um, and this is nationwide, um, not just here in Davenport, we offer some special incentives. Um, but this shift differential, the shift and weekend differentials are here to stay. So I wanna, I just wanna highlight a couple things. Um, we pay for, if, if you work between the hours of three and 11 p.m., there's an additional $5 per hour for your um, base pay. Um, I put the example of $27 just as a entry level um, average rate, but I want you to see just, if you were to work just on an evening shift, you would make $32 an hour, even though your base was uh, 27. Now, if I can draw you down to the, the second part of the information about our weekend package, we know that there are some people who would love to work a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because that works best for childcare um, or balance for your families. Well, we take really great care of our weekend differential um, nurses who commit to working 48 out of 52 weekends. Um, I just want you to see that if you chose to work a weekend night differential, so if you work from 11 p.m. till 7 a.m., um, 48 out of those 52 weekends, you're actually making $22 more an hour than what your base rate would be. So there's lots of opportunities for you. Um, so don't get caught up on a base rate of um, oh gosh, they're three dollars less than uh, somewhere else across the country, because we have lots of shift differentials and other um, offerings not listed on here. If you are interested in going back to school, we have a really robust scholarship program that has no obligation. You can come. I got both my bachelor's and master's degree paid for by Genesis with no obligation. Um, and we also have a tuition reimbursement program. So after you're here for a year, um, we will contribute additional funds to uh, your further education. Amy, any, you know, what did I leave out here that they're probably dying to ask regarding shift differentials or other pay opportunities? I mean, I, th I think that's really good. I think, you know, one of the things from our recruiting team's perspective that we always want to make sure that that every candidate considers is that there are different costs of living like you outlined and that sometimes you could have somewhere where you made a higher wage, but the money that you have in your pocket and that you have to live and pay rent and got to eat and, you know, pay for daycare on all of those things is can be much, much less. Yeah. I think looking at the whole package, like, is it, you know, is this a place where you think that you can be happy? Is this a place where you think you can make a living? Is this a place that you can see yourself growing with the organization 
Are there good benefits? All of those things um, make up a, a total a total package and, and help to guide a decision. Um, the other thing that I, I want to mention too is that there currently is for RNs, there's a $10,000 sign-on bonus for Genesis, which is a really great way to help start a new life in the U.S. and, and help support a huge move and a life change. And so in addition to having like really great shift differentials and being in a great place with a good cost of living, there's also a sign-on bonus for RNs right now that's that's really, I'm gonna, it's the largest sign-on bonus for any Whoa. of our clients. So I think it's a it's a huge, you know, it's a huge sign-on bonus uh, in addition to getting sponsorship. So I think that the Genesis Help Package is a really, really, really good one. Very good. Um, let me just talk, and I see that there is, Marcel has a question. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about the Quad Cities. Um, we're, you know, a large, a large metropolitan area. Um, probably our rural areas are uh, 20 miles east, north, south, and west of us. Um, so we're a rather uh, densely populated areas, but we have a lot of really great opportunities for families to enjoy uh, things like a baseball. We have a minor league baseball park in the nation, um, in a minor league baseball park here right in Davenport. And it's actually a feeder. This this ballpark is a feeder for one of the national league teams um this year it's the kansas city royals so uh ball players who are going to be on the royals team come here and are part of this team before they go to a national league so it's a really amazing uh, thing that we have right here and as you see there's ferris wheel and all sorts of other fun kid stuff um we've got a lot of restaurants and a minor league hockey team so many opportunities to go back to school. We have seven colleges and university. And this river, the Mississippi River, is really um, a pinnacle of where we're at. We have walking paths and bike paths and um, little little boats that take, take us back and forth across the river for enjoyment as well as several bridges. But um, it's a really great place to um, entertain your family and to hang out outside of work. Uh, Maricel asked the question about um, no crime rate. Well, you know, I think in all fairness, if you were to Google any any city um, in any country, um, you're going to find that there is some crime. Um, I know that we will ensure that you live um, in an area and find a place to live that's not in an area that might be a higher crime rate. Um, there is uh, just like, uh, as I reminded you, we are on that on, on Interstate 80 corridor. So in near Chicago, so um, we certainly um, do see some um, crime that comes through our area, but uh, on an everyday occurrence, you won't notice that there is uh, anything unusual happening um, or high crime rate, uh, like a more densely populated area like a St. Louis or a Chicago in the Midwest um, or Kansas City. So I do want you, I'll be transparent with you, I do want you to look at other, as again, those four other cities, three other cities besides Davenport. Um, and as you're Googling, um, uh, what is the Quad City about? I think that's where I'll stop uh, just going through these slides and see Amy, um, CJ, I don't know if that video, if we could play that. Um, otherwise, we'll toss it over to Amy to ask some questions. Yeah, I think we can play the video now. Genesis is a great place to work. I love the employees. I love the culture. I love working as a team. Seeing my coworkers brightens my day because they're always positive. Not only do I feel valued every day by my coworkers, my managers, um, administrative personnel, physicians, but it's a safe place to work. They're keeping up on the best practices, um, always staying one step ahead. Being an office nurse is sometimes scary but having the older nurses there, they can help guide you through and answer anything you need done, and you learn something every day. I knew I wanted to do um, babies, labor and delivery, and Genesis is one of the leading hospitals in the area um, that delivers babies, so that's the number one reason why I chose Genesis. What I like most about my job is the patient interaction. I like to spend a lot of the time in the patient's rooms and trying to learn about them and learn their story. I like learning new things every day. 
Um, I feel like I could advance in the position that I'm in. Um, there's always room for growth from the company. And no matter what background you come from, you know, the sky's the limit here. I feel as if I'm valued through Genesis because they provide a lot of opportunities. If you want to advance here at Genesis, you have your manager you can talk to, you have experienced nurses you can talk to, they'll point you in the right direction. Teamwork um, is one of the main reasons why I stay in the birth center. Um, the teamwork there is incredible. I uh, never feel alone. I don't come in every day just punching a clock, doing my job and leave. Um, they're like family to me. The employee culture here is definitely a lot of teamwork. What I learned is that no man is an island, basically. So throughout the day, we like to help each other. I'm on the pediatric unit, and the teamwork's the best I've ever seen. All of us will do anything for one another. I like everything about my job. Every day is a different day. Every patient is so different. Um, I just like learning new things, and it's never a dull day. I would recommend people to apply to Genesis um, because it's a great place to work. I would tell someone applying at Genesis, come on board, and I would tell them that there are people here to help you and that you will not be alone. Just be positive and go in with the best attitude and it will go out for the best. I would tell someone applying at Genesis that they are making a great choice for their future and that they have a lot of opportunities ahead of them and they should definitely not wait. At Genesis, we're in this together. At Genesis, we're in this together. At Genesis, we're in this together. All right, great. Excellent. So um, I'd love to encourage all of the all of the attendees, if you have additional questions, please feel free to put them in the chat um, and we'll, we will do our best to answer those. Um, I wanna start though by asking a couple of questions to Joel that I know everyone always wants to know. Um, so you've talked about a lot of really great things about working for Genesis Health Systems and you grew up here, um, but tell us what's your favorite thing? What do you love most about working for Genesis? If you had to choose one thing. The, it, that's easy for me to answer. I'm, it, it's the people. I love watching that video because I think those are my people. I talk to them every day. Um, I don't know uh, where many of you work, but as the chief nursing officer, I'm out and uh, interacting with staff every day because I want to ensure that you um, have every tool and resources you need to do your job. Um, but we're a family here. We uh, take care of each other and uh, the people is definitely my number one uh, top of the list, always. It's just such a great family environment. Yeah, and you know, here at Worldwide, we partner with many different healthcare providers across the U.S. And one of the things that I would say about Genesis is that they are very, very, very considerate about the, the hiring process and really about the process of these candidates and applicants arriving in the U.S. And what's the first experience going to be like? Um, Genesis obviously has partnered with us and our relocation team to help support arrival for everyone they hire. But they also have another partner that's on the ground in Iowa that will be able to help support that transition as well. And they're just really thoughtful and they care very much about every single person as an individual. Um, and I, you know, I think all of us have had jobs in the past where maybe that wasn't the case. And so I think it's, I think it's really, really special how much Genesis cares about each, each single person, even, even as they're going through a journey to start working there. Um, and all the folks that already work there. I think it's very special. Yeah, Amy, I'll just, you know, one comment about that. I have, <clears throat> there's a nurse, uh, Conlon, who is from Togo, and he works on our cardiac step-down unit. And he grew up here in the United States, um, but his family was from Togo. And um, he I, has partnered with me. He helps uh, shepherd and introduce and make sure that all of our international nurses are connected. Um, so he is, we've officially named him our connecting point. He just loves it. Uh, he is just this great guy. Um, so we will ensure that not only are you connected here, but that you are connected with um, the right community resources to ensure you and your family success. Now, I think that's so, so special. 
Um, so you talked a little bit about career path and um, I think different ways that Genesis helped invest in their employees. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit just very specifically about different career paths that you have seen nurses take in the path in the past? Yeah, you know, I am a firm believer of, of trying to hire from within. So um, we I'm in the process right now. It's very rare that I have a manager position open um, on my team of, um, oh gosh, 30 ish managers here at the hospital with me. It's very rare that I have a manager position open. So um, this we have several candidates and they're all from within. They had started here um, maybe as a bedside nurse and had worked up as a charge nurse. Um, and then educator, uh, the candidate that we're considering now has done all of these things and um, has proven himself so that we were now ready to uh, allow him to step into a manager role. So there's lots of, you know, we only not only have acute care setting here, we have uh, community health nursing um, and a variety of needs or a variety of opportunities. So we welcome you to come um, be part of someone uh, said, you know, endoscopy nurses. We have a very large perioperative service line. So there's, you know, there's a place to attach. So come and be a part of uh, an opportunity. And then um, we allow you after one year to move into any other uh, nursing position that we have open within our health system. Now, awesome. Can, can you talk a little bit about the nurse to patient ratio? Yeah, I, you know, the nurse to patient ratio is always a big, a big ask. Um, it doesn't matter if you're on a national uh, WebEx or a WebEx like this. Um, we strive to have a four to one on a day shift and a five to one on second shift and maybe a five to six to one on night shift. But really, you know, ratio nursing is, um, is kind of a, becoming outdated quickly. Um, CJ can um, maybe attach to the presentation. Um, we're working towards a brand new evidence-based um, practice for our medical, surgical, and cardiac inpatient units um, of a new staffing model called Hub Nursing. I mean, it's uh, called Hub, H-U-B, and it's about helping us belong. So it's, um, some of you might know it as team nursing. I know some of you probably practice team nursing um, where you're at. It's really about um, a group of nurses and technicians and medical assistants working together to take care of a team of patients. And we are deploying this within our workforce because we have um, so many new people and there was uh, so many people that went through school during COVID that had a truncated uh, nursing experience or one that you and I didn't have as nurses. And so we're working so that we can connect each other to provide collaboration and communi communication with each other and really high quality care with our patients. Mm -hmm. So um, I can talk about hub nursing for an hour and a half, but I won't. Uh, but just know that we are working on cutting edge evidence-based practice to ensure that our nursing workforce feels supported um, and feels that they have a safe environment to practice nursing and deliver high quality care with our patients. So the, the question about ratios is important, um, but we really are changing away from ratios and more towards hub nursing so that it's a group of nurses taking care of a group of patients versus um, uh, a primary, it's primary care nursing, but it's not Joel or Amy taking care of four patients. It's Joel and Amy together taking care of a group of eight or nine patients. Now, awesome, thank you. Thank you, um, So, and if you have questions about that particular piece, there is, there's now been a document that's shared in the document. So in yep. the documents, you are welcome to download the presentation, the information about the weekend shift differentials and this, um, this piece about hub nursing. So make sure you go in and download those if you have any questions. Um, so a couple of questions that have come in are about requirements for this position. And so primarily what Genesis Health is hiring for right now are NCLEX passing RNs. Um, if you are an RN who's in the U.S. who's going to take the NCLEX, also this would be a great, um, you know, a great place to apply. They'd love to, to have 
new grads that are in the U.S. or someone who's in the U.S. who needs um, an adjustment of status to a green card. We'd love that. Um, but then for anyone who's outside of the U.S., uh, there is a requirement that they currently are in bedside nursing and that they've passed the NCLEX. Those things are, are both really important. Um, there, is, there is not any sort of um, height requirement or age requirement. Um, in the U.S., for U.S. jobs, we here are not allowed to discriminate based on a whole range of things, but um, also on that list are height and age. So every, every facility in the U.S. should not discriminate based on age or based on any sort of physical characteristics. So that's, that's part of working in the U.S., which is great. Um, this position is not, we're not today talking about nurse aides or PCTs or caregivers. This is specific to RNs. Um, Genesis Health has, has hired some nurse aides in the past, but um, right now what we are really focused on is hiring nurses um, and for many different departments, but often what we're looking for is med surge nurses. If you are not a med surge nurse and you work in another specialty and you like really feel like Genesis is the right place for you, um, please please apply anyway and direct your application to me and I'm happy to, to chat with Joel and see if we see if they have a need that we can help find a fit for. Um, Joel, another question that came in is about the trauma care level. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we're level two trauma center. There is uh, level one trauma centers um, just 60 miles to the west and 60 miles to the south. So um, we're, we're um, a regional referral center, we call it. So, um, but I will just dangle a little bit of uh, maybe what's to come. Um, we may be changing that um, in, the, in the near future. So um, we are working very hard at becoming a regional care center so that we um, can care for every need of our patient population. So that may mean in the near future, um, increasing our trauma status, as well as other uh, areas of expertise, such as cardiac, um, cancer services, and uh, neurosurgery. So those are our three areas of focus that we're working on, which would also include um, revisiting our trauma status. Awesome. Uh, there was a question about how long the immigration process is and the great news is that uh, genesis is paying for premium processing so that speeds up the immigration process which is great um, currently the immigration process is taking about 12 to 18 months from the time that an i-140 petition is filed um, so so that's the timeline there is another question joel about the differentials are the weekend differentials the same for everybody or are there different, you know, different based on different jobs or offers? No, our, um, for any registered nurse that it, the shift differentials and weekend differentials are the same. Whether you work in the emergency department or on our medical pulmonary unit or in our birth center, those uh, differentials that we um, supplied the information are all the same. They're attached right. to a job classification versus a location of services provided. Okay. And then I saw a couple more questions come through about experience. Um, just to be clear, this today, this opportunity needs current bedside experience. So you need to currently be working in bedside. Um, it's important. It doesn't have to be like 10 years currently in bedside, but it does need to be a, a current bedside position. Um, that's just important to make sure that, that all of the experience is up to date. So this must be a current bedside experience. Um, Joel, let me ask you this. Um, you mentioned some really big employers in the area. Uh, how difficult do you think would it be for, for someone to have a, someone that has a spouse or a grown child or partner to find a position uh, in if they were to live in Davenport or a nearby city? Yeah, that's one of the things we will strive to ensure, you know, we are, a community organization and our board of directors is made up of folks from the community and most of those folks are connected with some of those larger employers i was just at a board meeting um, two weeks ago and they were asking what is one thing that we can do to help support you um, on this journey with international nurses and i said help me ensure that we have employment opportunities for the folks that come with them 
So um, we are working aggressively to break down any barriers, um, whether it's someone that wants to work in a school or in at John Deere, or um, we have scientists that are coming over and we have lots of colleges and universities and, um, and areas that we can get you plugged in. Um, we are, we, I think, I wanna say it'll be easy uh, we just have to figure out what's the what opportunity you're looking for and make some good connections. I'm happy to make any connection um, and work with our board of directors to help connect uh, your families to the right employer. Okay, that's great. Um, a couple of other questions that have come in. One is um, how long is the contract? The contract is it's 36 months. Um, and it's not worked off in hours. It's it's just literally 36 months. So from the beginning to the end, it's 36 months. But it's a direct hire position. So anyone who's hired by Genesis Health will be a permanent employee. Um, and we hope we'll, we'll love working at Genesis Health and stay there for a very long time. But the, the amount of the contract is 36 months. Um, and then th there were some questions about pay. So the, the pay is based on experience. It's really calculated based on skills and competencies, um, which means it's always super important that your resume is updated and has all the great work on it that you have, you have done, that you have the most, the most updated version of that. Um, but there's also a question about, is there a yearly like pay bump? Yeah. Um, Joel, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. Every every year we have um, evaluations. Um, actually, we've switched those to every three years. Um, so this year there is a three percent um, raise across the board to the hourly rate of every employee. Um, also, every um, two to three years, every um, specialty or every discipline is on a market basket adjustment. So um, our nurses um, just last year got a, a significant market basket adjustment to their rates. So that's in addition to the annual raises. So yes, every year there's opportunity for increased salary. Um, one thing, Amy, we haven't talked about is we have what's called a, a nursing professional development program here at Genesis. So all of these incentives and shift differentials we've talked about are one thing. As a nursing profession, we also allow you to participate in our nursing professional development program. Um, so uh, an entry point into that is to have an associate degree plus a certification or a bachelor's degree. Um, and then we help you work towards obtaining um, points in service and leadership and community involvement. Um, and with that, you can earn an additional up to 15% additional to your rate. So it's 5% for every uh, level that you can climb on the nursing professional development program. So we have lots of opportunity for uh, wages and, um, and raises as well as uh, just little perks. Um, you know, we have, we have lots of discounts with employee uh, employers within our area as well just because you're a genesis employee uh, you can rent cars for cheaper and get cheaper car washes or different discounts at restaurants and things like that as well awesome um there's a lot of questions coming in this which is great uh, yeah. a lot of questions like that are very specific to individual experience or individual degrees or any of those things we would love to to chat with you uh, right. Each one of those questions is probably best answered in a conversation directly with a recruiter. So please feel free to, to either. Um, you can live chat right now. We have recruiters that are available through this link. Um, or please feel free to apply. You can go on our website, healthstaff.org, and, and send in your resume as an application. Or you're welcome to send an email to recruiting at healthstaff.org. Um, or earlier, I put my email in the chat and you're welcome to, to email me directly and I'll get you connected to someone awesome on our recruiting team who can talk with you very specifically about your history. Um, you know, I think that Genesis is open to a lot of different backgrounds, but there are some things that are required, just like almost every acute hospital that we work with, acute, current, 
acute care bedside experience is required. Okay. Um, but we, we're we happy to, to help chat with you about that. Um, it's always good to go on this journey with a friend or family member or colleague. So if you wanna, if you wanna bring some folks that you work with along with you, please feel free to all apply together and we would love to help support you together. Um, so I think, I mean, I really think we've, we've answered almost all of the questions in the chat. Um, I think maybe just like the final thoughts I'd like to leave people with is that Genesis Health System is, is just a really great place to get a start in the U.S. Um, as a partner, they're one of my personal favorites. And I think that anybody who decided to start their U.S. journey at Genesis would be very lucky. Um, I think that they're going to care for you in a, in a very special way. Um, Joel, what, what final thoughts would you like to leave with this group? Yeah, you know, I, first of all, we always say welcome to Genesis. So I want to say that to you. Um, we really are interested in helping you be successful. Uh, I am personally really passionate about developing our nursing profession. And that includes uh, building a diverse workforce as well as learning from you. So we, what we're learning now with um, some international nurses that we have is that we have a lot of practices that we can learn from. And um, I welcome you to be a part of that workforce so that we can propel the nursing profession forward together. Um, I, uh, through Amy, I also will personally uh, respond to any questions. Um, if there's anything Amy feels like I wanna connect, you wanna connect with me about, happy to connect in that way. Um, I just encourage you to be a part of the greater nursing workforce in the United States. I hope that Genesis is the place where you come, um, but I am excited for each and every one of you and uh, your journey and appreciate your time with us today. All right, thank you everybody. We appreciate all of the attendees and thanks again to Joel. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their evening or morning. All right, super, thanks everyone. Bye.